It's spooky month. That means it's time for some more Halloween themed heroes. I'm ready to see what we got. I was always wanting a Halloween loot alt, but honestly right now, it's such a bad time since I literally have zero orbs. I hope there's no loot on this banner. I'm begging. I know there's gonna be, uh, the thumbnail had female corn, and it looked like the preview had nils and male corn as well, so I imagine that's what we're gonna see. Let's take a look. Quite a long banner trailer, almost like three minutes, or it's three minutes. That's quite long for a banner trailer, but we'll see. Positively glowing in their bewitching outfits, it's time for some Halloween heroes. Here we go, first up is Corin. Oh, look at the pumpkins. I love the pumpkins, little cookies. Are those cookies? Believe I think they're cookies. Not, I've been to a similar festival in my own world. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, we never got the DLC, unfortunately, or here at least. Attack speed finish, okay. That could be itching Moonlight Stone. I see, and she has negating thing. Oh my goodness. That's uh, from her legendary alt. Huh. So she's not going to be season long, and she has negating thing, which is pretty good. People are going to probably build her up. Is this male corn? There he is. Yo, my boy looks clean. Look at the cookies. I love the cookies, dude. They're like the candies. Is this how wizards really dress? This is me corn. I love the hat. Okay, I, I, he actually looks so clean. I love the hat, too. Distant stance, dragon's ire. Oh, another, another B scale that is uh, tier four. I think we have two for dragons now. My spell also created one. Trick or treat! Let's go Corrin attack! Dude, let's go Corrin. He actually looks so clean. Okay, demote is... Rhea? Oh no, wait, I'm sorry, that's a Naga, costume. that's Naga. I've never donned such clothing before. Does it look strange? She looks cool. I like the little ghost thing. So what is she all about? Nothing too crazy, it looks like. I like the little ghost thing, that's actually really cute. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Does Naga normally look like this? I don't think she does. If she did, I kind of forgot. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Duo Hero is... It is Mila and... I think a day would come when we could enjoy ourselves like this. It's Mila and Duma. Indeed. It is truly a wonder. Yo, Promise called this. She actually called this. She was like, what if we get Mila and Duma? Distant Ferocity. Oh, snap. There it is. The, the Distant Ferocity that doesn't uh, take... Dude, Duma's so massive. <laughs> that just covers up Mila completely. Our blessing upon you. you. This is actually such a good duo hero. That's actually a great duo hero. I promise totally called this. Restores 30 HP, interesting. Okay. This is quite the uh quite the unit then. My sister. Yes, Duma. Dude, I actually this is actually an awesome duo. Okay, restores what HP time? and then something? What effect is that? Oh, they're a savior unit. Hold on a second. Wait, they have an exclusive. What the heck is that? Huh? Onward. Indeed. Okay, there was quite a lot to unpack with this unit. We're gonna have to take a, a very close look at them. And there we go. Huh, that felt very long for some reason. Okay then. And, oh, uh, Nils is the Tempest Trial. Okay, I mean, I guess that's fine. I like Nils, he's adorable. Okay, well, time to check out the skills as always. So, female Corrin, she's got the Moonlight Stone, which accelerates special trigger minus one. At the start of turn one, if foe's attack can trigger special, grant special cooldown minus two. Okay, so she's gonna be proccing the gaining thing quite a lot. If foe initiates combat or if foe's HP is above 75% at the start of combat, grants plus five to all stats, grants special cooldown plus one to unit per attack, and inflicts special cooldown minus one on foe per attack. Okay, very good. So, cooldown acceleration and guard effect, and reduces damage dealt by, dealt unit by eight, when foe's attack triggers special, okay. So just negating Fang has even more damage reduction, but having it just be like a solid eight is quite interesting. Excludes Miracle, okay, that's fine. Uh, negating Fang, we all know that that does very good. Attack and speed finish, here we go. This skill is definitely pretty interesting. If unit is in three space of an ally, grants attack and speed plus seven to unit during combat, and also if unit special is ready or unit special triggered before or during this combat, deals plus five damage during combat, and when this unit deals damage to foe during combat, restores 7 HP to units. So this is a very good skill uh, that you could put on like, your very fast units. I feel like uh, I kind of want to put this on my Ascended Marita. Because I want to give her like a Distant Counter. If we ever get Distant Counter S for like Swords in the future, I want to maybe like put this skill on her. So she'll have uh, damage healing, doing plus 5 damage uh, with the attack speed finish. I don't know, I feel like this could be really, really good 
for speedy tanky units like speed damage reduction units i don't know very interesting also is this the first unit in the, no I, i'm totally wrong about this but is this the first unit in the game to have three tier four skills in a b and c it might be i could be wrong about that because i don't think um nina or muspel had that i could be wrong well i guess no muspel technically did have it but he has the uh he has his c skill right so i guess muspel is technically the first but when it comes to like all inheritable things, I think this unit is first, which is pretty interesting. So she's got the Dragon's Wrath, which is very good. Reduces damage from first attack by 25% and then does extra damage based off the uh, difference between attack and res, which is very good. And then Joint Drive Attack, which is not amazing anymore. Like it's still not bad, but like it's not amazing anymore, but it's still nice to have, I guess. It's it's definitely something that completes the kit, I guess. Next up is Maelkorn, who I kind of wish he was the demote, sort of, just so I could have him. But whatever, so he's got the Starlight Stone, which accelerates special trigger minus one. If foe initiates combo or if foe's HP is above 75%, okay, same condition. Grants attack plus six to unit and inflicts attack minus six on foe during combat. Inflicts special cooldown minus one on foe per attack, very good. Restores seven HP to unit when unit deals damage to foe during combat. And also, if foe can make a follow-up attack, reduces damage from foe's first attack by 75%. Oh my gosh, that is quite a bit. So guard effect, uh, the mystic boost healing, damage reduction off of if there's a follow-up that's quite a lot that is quite a lot uh and then he's got distance stance obviously very good dragon's ire what's this at the start of combat if unit's hp is above 25 percent inflicts attack and res minus four on foe during combat unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack and also if foe initiates combat neutralize effects that prevent units follow-up attacks wow okay hold on so this unit that's really good actually hold on that's really good oh my gosh because you have you're gonna follow up then you're guaranteed to follow up if if it's on enemy phase. So he was armored, correct? Oh no, he's infantry. Oh, okay. I was, I was gonna say that would have been really broken on like an armor unit, but this does seem very good. Cause like if you could save and then also have like no follow up while being a savior unit, that would have been really good. Like a guaranteed follow up attack that has no follow up built in. So he's gonna follow up attack. If this was an armored core, and that'd be insane. Either way though, that seems really good having that skill. Next up we have Naga who has Serenity Breath which is if foe initiates combat or is above 75% HP, okay, all, same condition as always, uh, inflicts attack and res minus five on foe, and foe cannot make a follow-up attack. Simple enough. You know, that's not that's not bad. Obviously, no follow-up, still kind of bops her, but whatever. And then the rest of her kit is just pretty plain. I guess attack res rain three is fine, but there are better skills out there. And then the big one, here we go. Duma and Mila. Their weapon is Ghostly Lanterns, which accelerates special trigger to minus one. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is about 25%, okay, not the same condition as the other three, but still very easy condition to meet. Grants attack plus six to unit and inflicts attack minus six on foe during combat. Okay, very standard stuff. Neutralize effects that guarantee foe's follow-up attacks. Foe cannot make a follow-up attack. And also, if foe's attack can trigger their special and unit's res is above foe's res plus five, okay, so this is a hard thing to trigger, inflict special cooldown plus one on foe before foe's first attack. Okay. So it's kind of hard to meet. It basically prevents the opponent from triggering their special, which is very good. That's actually really, really good. So they're gonna be very tanky because you won't be able to proc your specials. This would be very good against the unit like like Valentine Crom, who loves getting that, uh, that uh, proccing those dead eyes. And you'd be able to prevent that from happening, which would be really good. I mean, obviously he's still gonna die to like the armor effectiveness, but still being able to stop dead eyes and stuff like that would be really, really solid or just other very threatening specials. Uh, we have Distant Ferocity, which is similar to Distant Dart, I believe. And instead of plus five speed, it is plus five attack. And it only gives you that bonus when it's uh, on enemy phase, which is completely fine, honestly, because usually with these types of units, like the Distant Counter units, they're gonna be enemy phase type builds or mixed phase. So you're gonna want the attack plus five on enemy phase. So that's a very good skill. And I can definitely tell people are gonna follow this unit for that. Dragon Ball 3, which is just damage reduction, very good stuff. And then we have Woeful Upheaval, which I'm a little scared of. So at the start of turn one, it deals seven damage to all foes. Standard stuff. Reduces damage from foes first attack during combat by percentage equal to difference between unit's attack and foes attack, minimum of zero. Okay, plus the difference between foes max HP and foes current HP at the start of combat times three, max of 30. Oh, okay, that's actually, that's actually pretty easy to meet. Because your attack is probably going to be a lot higher, considering you have like distant ferocity, you have attack plus six and attack minus six through the weapon. So unless you have a lot of attack, you are definitely going to uh, get damage reduction off of this unit. 
Plus there's even the max HP thing, so this could just be a bulky unit that just has more HP than you. Uh, anyway, if foe uses a bow, dagger, magic, or staff and initiates combat against this unit within two spaces, trigger savior on unit. Okay, so no bonus stats, but that's fine because this unit has lots of damage reduction, has very hard hitting attacks, um, and also stops specials from happening. So this unit is just bulk. This is just bulk the unit. Thank goodness it doesn't have like heals uh, when it hits, because if they had that, that'd be pretty scary. But this is quite the unit. This is quite the unit here. And the duo skill is neutralizes any penalty, restores 30 HP, and grants neutralizes foes bonuses for one turn to unit and allies within four rows and four columns centered on unit. Okay, that's pretty good. The healing is very good considering this unit is like super bulky. So if you were to use them as like a, a savior unit in summoner duels, you could, whenever they start getting low on HP, all you gotta do, just use your duo skill. Restores 30 HP, which is like probably around like 70% of your HP which is very solid. So this unit, and you can, we, we can even see the stats up top. 62 attack, 40 defense, 43 res, 47 HP, low speed, but like that doesn't matter. This unit is just bulk. This is a very scary unit. I'm quite interested to see how Duma and Miller will perform in combat, but unfortunately this banner is probably gonna have to be a skip for me. I think I'll sing like 20 orbs. Uh, I think I'll sing like 20 orbs. Try and go for Corrin and Duma. That's all I really care about, male Corrin, because he looks pretty clean and I love his hat. I actually really like his outfit. I think it's really cool. So yeah, if you're gonna be summoning, definitely let me know. There's some good stuff on this banner, some really interesting stuff. And I think it's definitely worth uh, summoning, especially for Duma, he seems very, very solid. Anyway, that's gonna be for me. I hope you have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all when this banner comes out. All right, good luck on your summons, and I'll see you later.